As much as I love, love, love the holidays, I'm a believer, honestly, that you shouldn't have to spend your entire Thanksgiving day cooped up in the kitchen. Right, you guys? Right. So, I mean, you need to make time for the other things that you love to do. And for me, that's dancing, of course. Oh, me too. <laughs> so today, I've got three make-ahead tips to keep you light on your toes all turkey day long. All right, so tip one. Measure your ingredients ahead of time. And this is something, Michael, that we do at the restaurant. And you, you, start, you start thinking differently about, um, about your dishes. So for cornbread, for instance. So I make the dry ingredients. I measure them, and I put them in a zip-top bag. And if you will mark on here, cornbread mix, let's say you're doing it one time. So one time. You know, like cornbread one. mix times one. Times one. And then I have in a uh, core container all of the wet ingredients. So the day of, I just take the dry mix, I take the wet ingredients, I combine them. If somebody is in your kitchen and they want to help, you're like, just do the cornbread, <laughs> right? And you don't have to like, you don't have to worry <laughs> if it's right. Quick and easy. So this goes in here. Yep, that goes in there. And then does this go in there too? No, no. This you store it just like this. Oh, got it. So this stores at room temperature. This stores is stored in the fridge. So that's cornbread mix wet one time. Cornbread one time. Yep. And then you can do this for biscuits. You can do it for pancakes. You can even do it for your dry uh, cake mixes. So it's just making all of your mixes ahead. Yeah. Quick and easy. Shoot! That's so simple. It makes me want to shimmy. I mean, with you. I love it right back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, tip two blanch and shock your veggies the day before. The only steaming that you should be doing on Thanksgiving Day is where? In the shower. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the thing is, you clean, you cut, you blanch your veggies ahead of time, mm -hmm. and you can store them in a colander with a paper towel just like this. Or if you don't have space, you can put those same veggies in a zip top bag and you can actually stack them just like that. Awesome idea. Can I just say one thing? Yes. I am finding peeling these carrots the most therapeutic thing in the entire <laughs> world. I just, I am zenning out. Are you? And it's like, why can't we all be happy? <laughs> I just love it. But, but you know, it's, yeah. it's things it's, like you that. You can do that the day before and just calm down calm before down. Thanksgiving. You know those green beans, your green bean casserole. Yeah. You can do it all like this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Do I'm that. gonna do it today and tomorrow what? and the day after and the day. After. Quick and easy. Ooh, I feel elegant. Hit it, piano man. Oh, Clinton, spin me. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> When you're snapping. Mm. All right. So, tip number three roast your yams up to five days before the big day. And I'm saying yams because for me, candy yams is a really big thing at my part of the table. So, I roast the yams ahead of time, I peel them, and then you can store them in a zip top bag, or you can go ahead and cut them and put them into your casserole dish like this. You can store them just like this. And then you make the yam sauce, and you have that already in your container, and that's ready to go. And then on the big day, go ahead, Mario, do it for me. Pour it over the yams. Yeah. Right? And then you take those, and that's enough. Mm. You take that? Yes. Oh, how is it? <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yes. Quick and easy. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome and quick and easy. <laughs> now that the prepping is done, your Thanksgiving day can be a dance in the park. Come on, baby. This is so exciting. I could salsa right out out of here. Yeah.